mental health is something that we really need to prioritize in all our patients with chronic disease. But this study just shows that in patients with chronic spontaneous urticaria, that this is even more important and that we need to closely monitor these patients. And as Dr. Blaze had mentioned, the patients that had shown suicide attempts or suicidal ideation actually had higher mortality rates, right? And so asking about suicidal ideation, asking about any attempts, of course, if you're new to the patient is super important. And I would guess that a lot of providers maybe aren't doing that as often as they should be. And so this shows that we should be doing that more often and taking this condition more seriously. The other takeaway point to me here was a decreased risk of mortality in the patients with chronic spontaneous urticaria that were on treatment with antihistamines and or omalizumab. And now we have other biologics. So I think what is probably going on here and why we see that decreased mortality related to the use of proper treatment for this condition is that these patients then get under better control. That leads to a better quality of life as far as these patients are less suffering, which leads to less anxiety and depression. And therefore, that probably, again, would lead to a less likelihood of suicide, as we saw that being the highest risk factor as far as increased death there. What I really hear is that for patients with chronic spontaneous urticaria, it might feel long and grueling, but continue on your path to finding treatment because in the end, it's only going to lead to better outcomes. 